baby, and welcome back everybody to the Primus server, where today we are on the Direwolf 20 mod pack, as usual. And, uh, yeah guys, I think this is gonna be another one of those piecemeal episodes where I just get a bunch of stuff done. We don't have anything, like, really super planned out, any large-scale project, but there's a lot of little things that need to be done, and we're gonna start off with this amazing axe I just made. So, we'll click here in the Thaumanomicon, and I'll show you what I made. I made one of these axes of the stream. I figured it was a good idea because, honestly, other than the hoe of growth, the rest of this stuff really isn't all that awesome. I mean, the sword does some cool effects, but my current sword has a ranged attack, so it can't beat that. Uh, a sword that has a ranged attack is actually pretty damn cool. We might play with the Sword of the Zephyr. I haven't played with it since like a couple of versions of Thomcraft ago, but the Axe of the Stream is really cool. So say um, in the past, what I've been using to chop down trees is uh, this one. This is a Tinker's Construct Axe, and it is still very good. And I had this Elementium Axe for a while, and it has like Fortune 3 and like Sharpness 5, so this actually could double as a weapon in a pinch. But um, it wasn't doing a whole lot for me, so I, I decided to get an Axe of the Stream, which combines, I think, both of those axes together. So it could be used on a tree like this to chop down the whole tree, which is really cool. And I think what it also does, being the axe of the stream, if you hold down the right click button, it makes the tree leaves despawn faster, which, you know, the Tinker's Construct axe does not do that. So that is actually a really cool effect. Say you're trying to go get apples or whatever, and you want the leaves to despawn a little bit quicker. You just do this. It's not working on this tree at the moment, it doesn't look like. But I think it will here in a second. There we go. Look at that. And if you hold down right click, it'll bring any loose items near you. So what I might be able to do with this thing is maybe forego using, what is this thing called? The magnetization ring. So like, say I got a bunch of obsidian here. It's just laying around. It's like, oh, look at all this obsidian. Just lay it on the ground. I can hold my axe like this. And it brings it right to me. So that's actually a pretty handy little thing. So I'm glad to have an axe that does kind of magical things now. I think that's a cool thing to have. So I've added it to my arsenal of amazing equipment. And yeah. So um, what's next on the docket? Let's see here. Um, I know I have some stuff in these crafting tables. I want to get the next level of yellow hearts. Um, oh, look at that. You can turn red hearts into minute. Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually pretty helpful. I could have used that earlier. But anyway, this is the start of the recipe, but the next part is making 10 of these golden apples with the gold blocks in them. So we're going to go ahead and do that. That is a very expensive apple, but we've got the gold, it's no problem. And we need 10 more red heart canisters, so let's go ahead and make those too. Alright, so we should be able to combine these guys now and make ourselves a really cool thing. Look at that, yellow heart canisters. So this will boost our health even further. Since we took that that hit on our health by making the soul fragment, this is very helpful to us. Actually, let's exit out of this again. I think it's this tab, and we put them here, right? Cool. So uh, as soon as I eat something, um, my hearts will start to go into the double digits, baby. I think now I'm supposed to have like a total of 30 hearts. Uh, negative. Well, it's 10%. I lost 10% of my health, which I think is one heart. I'm not sure what that means overall. Does that mean that at 30 hearts I lose something like a little extra? I'm not sure, but we'll see here in a little bit. Another thing that gives me extra hearts is this Terra Steel Armor. And it's very helpful. It has like diamond level um, durability and protection to it, but we're gonna get a different type of armor today and I'm all ready to do it. And it's gonna be this Thaumium Fortress Armor, which is hella cool. Apparently with every piece of this armor you wear, it affords you more protection, so it kind of has a cumulative effect. It has the protective properties of diamond, and it also gives you some additional protection against magic and fire, so that is really cool. So I definitely want to make this, and I think I have all the pieces here in my chest. So we're just going to pick this up, and we're going to run over to our Thaumcraft area, and we're going to make it! Um, you guys have seen me do infusion enchanting like a billion times before. So I think what I'm gonna do is right about here somewhere. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed this video up if this elevator would work. Okay, uh, apparently there's some super lag going on. Elevator don't work. 
There we go. We're back up here now. Um, ah, ah! Come on, game. Keep up with me. All right. We're up. I think we're up here and everything's fine. Look, I actually have green hearts being produced. Holy crap. So, guys, yeah, I'm probably going to speed up the episode right about here, guys. Okay guys, we are back and I've made all of this awesome armor and it looks really cool. I even add the goggles of revealing to my helmet here. So if you look at that one, I actually had to go gather some stuff for it, which you probably saw in the little speedy up part. But yeah, basically I needed a bunch of census, which I didn't have. So I got some rose red and yeah, you combine your helmet with a slime ball and the goggles of revealing and booyah, you get the helmet. And now let's try this stuff on. Let's see what this looks like. I know it looks pretty damn cool, so I'm not even going to lie that this is going to be... Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta take these eyeballs off. No, that's not the right button. Let's see. <laughs> I gotta take the eyeballs off. Um, I don't know what to put in its place. That's, that's even more ridiculous. No, we gotta take this off. We gotta really enjoy the armor, so... Is there one for, like, no hat? <laughs> I need, like, no hat. Maybe I could just turn um, the alpha all the way down. There we go. Done. <laughs> so you can kind of see my eyes over the glasses, which is a little dumb. But I think what we're going to do is add some stuff to this armor. My god, does it look cool. I look like a samurai. hi -ya! Very cool. Oh my goodness. That looks great. Oh, this stuff looks so good. So good. <laughs> oh, but before we get any damage taken to it, we need to uh, we need to enchant this stuff. Actually, let's put some stuff in our bag here, just really quickly. Um, we'll throw this up. Just get it out of my bag, so we have some room in our inventory to do something with. Oh, I gotta hit the F5 button. There we go. Haha. <laughs> so let's go over here and use our handy dandy enchanter here to make this armor even more awesome. Um, we gotta take it off first, that might help. So we'll put the hat in there, and apparently I can give it night vision. Now, I've tested this out, even with this broken texture here. Um, the night vision is great, you can see at night, so that's very helpful, but it has a bunch of particle effects to it, so I think that's super dumb. Um, so I'm going to avoid the night vision, plus night vision in, um, 
I don't know. I, I would like night vision if I could turn it on and off, like the, uh, what is it, the dark steel armor from Ender IO. But this night vision isn't that great just because of the particle effects. But we are going to go for aqua affinity. We're going to go for respiration. Um, we definitely are going to go with repair. So this stuff never breaks. And we could add night vision, but I wish there was a way to turn it on and off. There, if you guys think that there's a way to turn that on and off, let me know in the comments. But I don't think there is. So let's do that. Let's see. Aqua Affinity, Respiration. Aqua Affinity only goes to one? Okay. Respiration and Repair and Protection. Protection. I think a Protection doesn't go any higher than that. And my wand is... Oh, it's not doing too great. But let's enchant that thing. Um, let's grab our other wand. Let's get this one charging, I think. We're probably going to need it for all of this amazing stuff we're going to put on this armor. And unfortunately, because of my boots, which are the boots of the meteor, I can't put uh, pounce on my leggings, even though I would really like to. Uh, let's move that out, swap it out for this guy. And that will continue enchanting. So let's go upstairs while that is doing its thing. Let's grab our trunk here. And one thing I wanted to do was mess around with this golem. Uh, animation core of fishing um, it looks really cool and plus there's some ways to upgrade it that I think will be very beneficial to us plus it would just be cool to have a little golem outside fishing I think that would be really funny so what are we missing here it didn't quite do it yet uh, what are you out of it's out of the um, the earth aspect okay so is this charged up yet pretty much throw that bad boy back in there Man, this hat is taking a lot of damn juice. Turbulent juice. Okay, so Aqua Affinity 1, Respiration 3, Repair 2, and Protection 4. Very nice. So this guy, we also want to pimp out. We definitely want Repair. Um, we want Thorns, and we want Protection. So that's about all we could put on it, really. It's a chest plate, so you can't expect too much from it. So yeah, let's do it, baby. So... In order to make the fishing golem, we need a few things. Um, I think we're going to have to do an infusion, too. So let's grab this stuff here. Actually, let's dump some stuff in a chest first. Oh, that little guy's already down. We'll just leave him there for now. Um, what do I not need? That. I don't need that anymore. I don't need the thalmium anymore. Actually, I could put this old armor back up, too. But, cool. How are we doing over here? We need to swap out wands again. We're going to swap it out for this one. We're doing some multitasking today just to keep it going. There we go. So we've got that now. And now we've got this guy. Ooh, baby. Let's see here. Now, I'm going to add the pounce to it. Uh, the one thing I can't add to it is the ascent boost. I would love to have the ascent boost. But apparently pounce helps you, like, fight enemies in the air. I'm not sure about that, but yeah. We're going to put Repair 2 on it, which would be hella cool. And, yeah, Protection V. Protection 4, I mean, if <laughs> not V. And we'll get that going. So, um, let's look up in the book. We'll go to Galamancy. And it's this guy right here that looks a little strange. So, I know it's supposed to look like a fishing hook, but it actually looks like something else. Uh, so, Bestia, all this stuff. We can go up there and get that going. While, the, while my pantalones... Actually, I think it's a chest plate. No, it's pantalones. Uh, do their thing. Oh, I didn't collect all that stuff. What am I doing up here? Go in, go in here. And get this, will you? And also grab the salmon. All right, back upstairs. Back upstairs. There we go. So we'll put that there. We're going to put a salmon here. I think we just need a regular fish there. Um... We'll put a fishing rod there. And over here, we put our puffer fish. And go Alakazam. And we'll just leave that. We'll just leave that to go. I'm not even gonna worry about it. You can just do your thing, fishing, fishing stuff. Okay. So cool. That's set on its way. We probably need to swap out wands on this. We definitely do. So let's go here. Are you all charged up? Oh, that is so awesome. And this one is charging up. I love this recharge thing with this wand. It is, it is hella cool. Uh, boop. Now get to it. Make my pants. Actually, they're called thigh guards. That's kind of funky. Durability 600. Wow. That's actually pretty damn high. So it looks like Earth is the one we're constantly running out of. And I think we just ran out again. 
Do any of these things have earth? You don't have earth. You don't have earth. How long do you have earth? It sounds like stuff is still going on upstairs. Should I be worried about that? Oh, I should be worried. Um, let's put our hat on. We're out of bestia! Crap! I know where to get bestia. Hold on. I'm gonna grab some bestia real quick. Hopefully that doesn't, uh... Hey, there's a cow here! How you doing, buddy? Um, I should have some bestia here in crystallized essence form. Oh my god, I thought I had enough, but I don't. This is trouble. Hopefully that doesn't ruin this thing, but we, it, it does appear to still be going on upstairs. I hear the music, and it, nothing's blowing up or breaking. So let's actually grab our bestia jar, and we'll pick it up. We're going to put it right here for quickness, and in here we're going to put our crystallized bestia. And this little guy should put it right in there, post-haste. Ah, there we go. All right. Perfect. Oh, that was almost disastrous. Good thing I have all those stabilizers downstairs. Or otherwise, that would have not gone well. Holy crap. Actually, let's sit here and watch it. Is this still collecting bestia? Maybe that's just one. Maybe that's a glitch or something. All right, so now it's taking all the little things. Holy crap. Oh, oh this is getting stressful. There we go. We've got our golem animation core of fishing. Very good. Okay. So, how about this thing? Are you done yet? You are still missing stuff, aren't you? Eventually we will get this done. Which one of these has stuff in it? You do. There we go. And there we go. We've got our super armor now. Now there is one other thing we can do to this armor, mainly the hat or the helmet. And that's add these little things here. These little face plates and... Currently, um, I have the goggles of revealing, but on top of that, you can add one of these three face plates, which I'm not sure about, honestly. This one, I think, lets you drink the blood of your enemies, and like you get, like when you're fighting somebody, you get some of their strength. Um, you know, basically, it just replenishes your health, I think. And this angry ghost one, designed to blah blah blah. When you are struck in combat while wearing the grim mask, you have a your enemy has the chance to suffer the withering effect. Serves them right. This one actually seems super cool, and I might go with this one, because I would love to give something withering. And the stuff to get it actually seems pretty easy. Um, this one, the Grinning Devil Faceplate, uh, it seems kind of dumb. All it does is kind of little bit reduces the uh, warp effect. I don't care about that. The warp effect doesn't seem to do crap right now. Other than occasionally I have to eat a few zombie flesh and these little headaches happen. But look at this, it takes 64 Sano, which is crazy. Like, you know how many healing potions that is? It's a lot, it's a lot, I tell you that. So I'm not sure which one we're gonna get, if any, but what we can do now is um, forget about that mess and let's get to, do I have any gold nuggets on me? Here we go. We want to mess with this fishing core, so we're going to give it to the dude. He's got his little fishing rod and he's ready to fish, but there's no water. So he's just going to sit there and play with his rod. <laughs> um, I should word that differently. He'll, he's just going to sit there and try to fish when he can't fish. But what we want to do is, since he's a Thaumium Golem, we can add two upgrades to him. And I want to add the Order upgrade and the Entropy upgrade because... The Entropy upgrade um, reduces the chance of him getting bad stuff, and the Order upgrade increases the chance of hitting him getting good stuff. So that sounds like exactly what I should have in a Fishing Golem. So, boop. Get that one. Put that one in there, and hopefully I got enough juice to do this. Very good. And we could put these on in post-haste. And yeah, let's get a chest for him. I might actually have a chest somewhere around here. Here we go. Here's a diamond chest. I want him to get lots and lots of stuff. And while I'm at it, I probably should have grabbed my Golemancer's bell. And we're just going to pick his butt up. Come here, dummy. And yeah, let's get him a fishing. So I'm wondering where I should put him. There's plenty of water around here. I'm actually thinking of just putting him right here. So he's going to be my little fishing buddy. We can put him right there. And look at that, he's fishing away. So, 
Eventually he will catch stuff and put them in this chest. Actually, we should probably put him on the chest. Oh, he's just throwing it behind him. Hold on. Uh, this. Let's see if we can place him on the chest and see if he'll put the stuff in there. Yeah, that, <laughs> yes. What's wrong with his head? He's got a little... He's got a little present on his head. How weird is that? Look at his little hat. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. Okay, let's see if he actually catches something and maybe puts it in the box. Put it in a box. All right, come on, catch something, buddy. No, he didn't catch anything that time. But anyway, we can put this raw salmon here and we will monitor him and see if he catches us any goodies. Basically what I want him to catch is like enchanted books and things like that. He doesn't seem to be, he does not seem to be putting it in the chest. Um, should we read the book a little bit? I'm glad he got a puffer fish, that's pretty cool. So let's read the, uh, let's read up on this thing. I didn't actually read the damn thing. For best results, Gollum needs to be placed in deep open water. Yeah, so I guess that's what he just does. Let's see here. Entropy. Maybe there's an upgrade that makes him put things in a chest. The fire upgrade allows him to automatically cook any fish he catches. But that's kind of dumb. Um, so I guess I need to get him something. I need to like make a vacuum hopper and put it on this chest. So that way when he catches something, he will throw it in that. So let's get over here. And let's make one of those things. So that way we can just not worry about it anymore. Boop. And we'll grab ourselves an obsidian. So this is kind of like the Mine Factory reloading, reloaded fishing apparatus, except it's a golem. And yeah, so I, guys, basically I'm just exchanging Mine Factory reloaded for Thomcraft, so it's fine. <laughs> I know I complain a lot about Mine Factory reloaded, but Come on, look at look at me. I just I just basically duplicated one of their machines using Thomcraft. Look at that. He's just throwing fishes everywhere. So if we put this up here and do something like this, maybe he maybe the, they will catch the damn fish that he catches and put it in the thing. That seems to be working. There we go. He's catching us raw salmon. We'll throw this in there and that in there, and we should come back and get plenty of damn fishies. Uh, this is great. Very cool. So we got that done. Let's look in our chest and see what else we have planned. I don't think we're gonna get to all the stuff I have ch planned here in my magical chest, especially this part and this part. This part here is to make a um, another lumberjack golem. Um, currently, with the system I have set up and that watering can we've created a couple episodes ago, actually it may have just been one episode ago, they cannot keep up with the demand of the uh, trees growing. So I think I need another lumberjack pickaxe to, or golem to chop down the trees. And honestly, nobody seems to be picking up anything. Some of these golems are damn lazy. Look at them. They're just standing there. Look at them. They're just standing there. I don't understand these golems. I think we're going to have to figure out maybe some sort of conveyor belt system. I do not understand why they don't pick up all the stuff. Like, do I have to do I have to tell them to pick it up? And I know they have enough range. And the other thing I want to build, I'm going to keep this a little secret until next time. We're going to do something that's going to uh, be amazing. But before this episode comes to a close, we want to build one more thing. And it's just to give ourselves flight. Um, we've denied ourselves flight for a long time. And we're going to finally get to it without turning into a wisp or something like that. Basically, we want to make the angel ring. And yeah, let's see here. There's all kinds. Let's see, invisible, I don't want that. I think I want the feathery wings. I think those are my favorite. And you've got the fairy wings, and I'm not sure what those look like. You've got dragon wings and golden wings. I think I'm gonna go with the feathery wings, or maybe the golden wings. What does it take to make the golden one? Nether star, unstable ingot, and those. You know, we can make a couple of these, so I'm not too concerned about it. So let's try the golden wings. Um, do I have any nuggets in here? One, two. And I think I need a few ingots. And in here, I think I'm keeping my stable, unstable ingots. If I could find them. There they are. One, two. And where are my nether stars? I should at least have two of those. Because I killed two nethers just for fun. 
And I've got 30 Wither Skulls now, so I could kill a whole bunch of them and be even more fruitful. I think it's something like this. Boop, boop. And let's put the Nuggies in the center. And we'll do something like that. And we got our Angel Ring. Oh, hallelujah. Let's put away this armor that we have. And let's try out our Angel Wing. Oh, look at that. You can you can see them. It's very cool. Look at me. I'm a... Ooh, I am looking like a proper evil magician right now. Look at this stuff. Very nice. I do not like how my eyeballs peek over the sunglasses, but what are you going to do? Eventually, I'll get a faceplate of some sort over this, so it'll probably hide that. So, guys, as always, I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. I have fun doing this, and I hope you guys have a little bit of fun watching it. And until next time, we'll see you all real soon. Goodbye.